Right, the government just released a report on economic growth for the final quarter of last year. And some of that stuff just never makes sense to us, right? So who do we bring in to make it all make sense? It is CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. She's joining us live this morning. Good morning, Jill. How are you? Good morning. Doing well, thanks. So glad to have you here. We, you always make this all make sense for us. So let's start here. It was a sizzling summer, right? So did the economy slow down in that fourth quarter? It did slow down, but not by as much as expected. So we're talking about gross domestic product, GDP. And that is a tally of the value of all goods and services sold in the U.S. And so when we get this number, we get three different readings. This is the first one. It can go up or down from this first reading. But this first reading, so much better than expected. We thought there was going to be maybe a 2% increase annualized. It was 3.3%. So yes, it's down from the fourth quarter when we had 4.9%, but better than expected. And for the whole year, if I go back to, let's say, the end of December of 2022, and I go to the end of December of 2023, GDP expanded by 3.1%. That is a stunning result. And I think it's because of us. Pat yourself on the back. Consumer spending was amazing. Manufacturing investment increased. So did state and local government purchases. So this 2023 result really was much better than anticipated. And even though we slowed down a little bit from the third to the fourth quarter. So for so long, the word recession was thrown around a lot. We, for especially the past couple of years, uh, are we good? Are we gonna face a recession this year? Are we out of the woods uh, at this point? What's the, what's the latest on that? I would never say out of the woods, but <laughs> what we know is what you ex what you put exactly right. You know, a year ago, that was when it was like Davos, like all the g gazillionaires are meeting up in Switzerland and all these analysts are like, there's going to be a recession in 23, almost to a person. It was so downbeat. And guess what? No recession happened le during 23. Right now, we don't see evidence that there is a recession that's coming, but just know that it can come at any time and certainly things are likely to slow down this year. We're only expecting an expansion of let's call it one, maybe one and a half percent. But weirdly, that's kind of what the Federal Reserve wanted. This would be the so-called soft landing, meaning they raise interest rates to try to push down the inflation rate. The economy slows. And as a result, we slow, but we don't go into a recession. So we'll have to see. Well, really quickly, before I let you go, I have to ask you, the Federal Reserve, you brought them up. You said they, um, they're going to have a, a policy meeting next week. So what's going to happen at that policy meeting? I think a whole lot of nothing. Central mm -hmm. bankers are probably going to hold off on any action at this meeting. Short-term interest rates will remain at a more than two-decade high, five and a quarter to five and a half percent. Bad news for borrowers, I'm sorry, but great news for savers. So keep finding those high interest rates for your savings and your money markets and your CDs. We're always on the search for those. Jill, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Of course, you can catch Jill regularly on CBS Mornings and the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, as well as every week here on QC Morning. We'll see you soon. Thank you.